This is the problem solving session of chapter zero, uh, the introductory chapter, the preparatory chapter for the later chapters in this course on uh, introduction to theory of computation. Now, it, the text, you sip sir, starts off at about junior level, I'd say and goes through senior level and towards the end the proofs are getting quite difficult so well into uh, first year masters so it's a de definitely a multi-level text so uh, some of the <laughs> you know I was, I was looking over the questions and trying to choose which ones I would uh, solve real time so uh, some of them are pretty easy and some, some of them are quite challenging so uh, I'll leave the tougher ones for you. <laughs> Alright, so uh, um, I'll just read them out a bit. So, exercise, so, so this is on page 25 of, of your text, starting on page 25. So I'll just read, read out the questions because it's sort of easier to say writing up. Uh, you're asked to, this is question one, and I'll do what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six of fourteen, so a bit under half. Right. So, uh, question one, uh, write formal descriptions of the following sets. Okay, so, uh, the set containing the numbers one, ten, and a hundred. Oh, I can think of two ways of doing that. Now, remember there's one, uh, two ways of uh, writing out a uh, formal description of a set. One is just to list all the elements. Now, of course, Common sense says that's only practical when a set's small, right? You're not going to spend all day writing out a damn set. And the other way is uh, where you give a kind of description. And no, okay. So, so write, write down the formal description of uh, sets containing the numbers one, ten, and a hundred. Or well, one way is just to write it in one, ten, a hundred. Curly brackets. That's that's one way. Now another way would be something like this, to give a description. So uh, the numbers of x, so x, uh, x belongs to the natural numbers, and uh, x, and there are these are powers of 10, right? 10 to the 0, 10 to the 1, 10 to the 2, so we can use that. Uh, oh, no. Oh. It's real real time thinking here. So we'll do it in do it in powers of ten. So it would be ten to the x where x equals naught one or two. That's one way. And you could write it another way, like ten to the x. Uh, so x belongs to a natural number and x is less or equal to 2, greater or equal to 0. Okay. Yep, that would do it, I guess. Uh, the set containing all integers that are greater than 5. Well, you're not going to write that out this way, right? Because it's an infinite set. Uh, so you have to use the descriptive method. So uh, all integers greater than 5. So x uh, integers. Okay, so um, an x greater than five. I think that would do it. Hmm? Now, now uh, this is quasi real time. Now, some of these. Okay. Now, the set containing all natural numbers that are less natural numbers that are less than five. Now, now that's a very small set. Natural numbers, right? So starting at uh, one. So one, two, three, four, five, da, da, da. The set containing all natural numbers that are less than five. Well, one, one way is just to write them out. Okay? That's that way. And another way would be, I uh, know, x. Uh, x belongs to the natural numbers. And x is less than five. Okay? Uh, the set containing the string ABBA, A-B-A. -A. 
so that, that's in fact a language, right? So it's a set of strings, with just one string. Uh, the set containing the empty string, the set containing the empty string, uh, you could write it that way. The empty string, you could write it that way. Oh, hold on, empty string. So I'm thinking of empty set, empty string. And remember the symbol for the empty string was sort of a, an eater, like this. Okay. Uh, uh, the set containing nothing at all. That way, or it's usually um, just given that symbol, the empty set. You, know, just, you write it this way. So these, these two are uh, equivalent. Right, so that's question one. Question two. Uh, so you have two sets A and B. A, A is uh, the set X, Y, Z. Oops. And B is the set just X, Y. And uh, you're asked, is A a subset of B? Is A a subset of B? Uh, remember the definition of a subset, each element of A has to be a member of B. Well, look, Z is not a member of B. So A is not a subset of B. Okay. Uh, is B a subset of A? In other words, is each member of B a member of A? Yes. Yes, you can just see that, X, Y, okay. So therefore B is a subset of A. So B is a subset of A. And remember, which one's the bigger one? Uh, the one that controls the handlebars. Remember that trick from one of the lectures? So, so B is the subset of A. Okay, what is A union B? A union B. Now remember, union is just, uh, you put the two sets together. Uh, well, it's just A, in fact. <laughs> right, can you see that? Um, because uh, your B is a subset of A. So the union is just uh, A, right? Uh, what is uh, A intersection B? So, so what is A intersection B? Well, uh, that's the set of uh, elements that are in both. Well, it's just X, Y. Well, that's B, okay? Uh, what is A cross B? A cross B. Uh, well, how, how big is that set going to be? Right? We've got three elements here, two elements here. Now it's all uh, ordered pairs. So there'll be six, six of them. So it's going to be a bit tedious. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so just do it systematically. So it'd be x comma x, yeah, x x x y, and then y x, y y, and then z x, and z y. I think see that's a bit small, All right? So. Uh, it's the, you know, remember the cross, cross product? It's the set of all, all possible ordered pairs of your two sets. Right? So, so, so it's three by two. So uh, the size of A cross B will be six. It's three by two. And there are the six elements. Okay. What is the power set of B? Remember, the, what's the definition of a power set? It's the set of all possible subsets of a set. Okay, so what's the power subset of B? Uh, I think the power, the power subset is sort of written this way. Yeah, they, they should set. Uh, there's a reason for this. Uh, in fact, uh, that, that's, the, that's the substance of one of the questions, I think. Yeah, question five. We'll give you the explanation why you write it this way. Um, okay, what's the power set of B? The set of all subsets of B. Well, there's, uh, there's the empty set. 
There's the set with just X in it. There's the set with just Y in it. There's the whole set itself. I think that's it, isn't it? I think that's it. Yeah. And there's just two rolls with it, so like two to the B. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Right. Okay, question three. Uh, a set, if big A has little a elements, and big you know, set B, big B, capital B, has little b elements, how many elements in A cross B? Explain your answer. So in other words, what's the size of A cross B? And by the way, this uh, vertical lines is just, uh, it just means size of. You know, in other words, how many elements? How many elements in this set? Uh, well, I just, I was just saying it before, right? Uh, there's three, three elements here, two elements here, so all possible pairs, and you take one from each, 